Hello everyone and most welcome to this tutorial. Today we will discuss about one of the beams and we will apply load and we will extract the shear force, bend moment and sap 2000 software. So I will be using the sap 2000 version, uh, fair version uh, 24. So if you do not have this software, you can just download on free. So and start uh, the designing of a building beams and others. So let us start. I will go here to the new model. We will draw this beam. So this is a beam in x directions and it is span is 10 meter, 5 meters and 10 meter and 6 kN load uh, point load has been applied on this beam. And we will create the supports and we will apply the unit weight on this beam and we will analyze it and we will extract the shear force and bending moment. So it is x axis and uh, the other one will be y and z axis. If we do not need to, to see it it is in x direction this beam so we will go here back to the software sap 2000 i will go here to the new model so i will give us here initialize model and will select the default units here we have three units like i will select here kilonewton meter and centigrade the kilonewton is for force and meter is for distance unit and c is for temperature yeah means centigrade so we will have three units which is kilonewtons meters and centigrade fault material is like you can select for europe american or others so i will select here the united states then we have many different templates like we have uh, the trusses different different 2d and 3d trusses frames and shell and others so we will be talking later in other tutorials at the moment i will select just grid only i will select and so for this quick grid lines you do not worry about it we will explain it later on we will just select press ok so in this septic 2000 window we will have here the menu bars and some tools the same tools exist here also and I will explain in the menu bar individually. Now you can just go to one of the grid lines and double click on it. And you will look here like it is the grid system about X axis, Y axis and Z axis. You can look here like we have the X, Y plane and another one will be Y axis and Z axis. But we need an X axis that beam to be created. And here like I have selected the three units which is for force, distance or length or and also temperature kilonewton. Kilonewton is for force, meter is for distance or length and C is uh, like centigrade for temperature. You can look here as well. So like for this beam we will just create this beams for 10 meter span and we will apply the load. So I will come to the x-axis. We have zero here starting from here to zero then five meter and ten meters like i will just need ten meter distance so i will come here so like it is zero then we will be five okay meters and we will have ten meter then i do not need this grid i will just select z axis we just need the point because we cannot see this beams in x and z axis it is an x axis we just need one of the reference point in both the axes so i will delete the extra dates for x and for y and z now you can come to the xz view so you will just see this beam we have beams like it is 5 meters and 10 meter and here to draw like here is many options and tools you can just uh, select from here or just quickly from this side like for example when i want to just draw draw frame cable tendon which is for frame and beam in column is also from a frame member then i will select here the draw frame cable tendon or you can just quickly select from here then i will just select the frame and will draw like i will come here select this point then afterward i will select here then here or you can just directly select from this point to other point i will select here the draw frame cable tendon i will select this one and you can just also select here the member but you do not need and you if you just want do not go here 
as a long procedure you can just simply click on this draw from cable to done and select here this point select the first grid point and the last grid point okay or you can just do select this point and another one this grid point and also this the last grid point you can look here when i select this grid point it is length is showing five meter if i go here it is showing 10 meter so i will select here this last point and afterward we just press escape then i am coming here to select this point then i will apply the support or create the support again i am coming here to assign for assigning uh, uh, like supports i will come here to the joint and after to the restraint so this support is a hinge look here hinge support so i will select here as a hinge or pinned then i will select apply and okay so this support has been created now again i am coming here to this support i will select and go to assign joint and restraint constraint after like we have roller support here i will select roller support and press apply and okay so like i have created the pin support and roller support and this being now i will apply the load like six kilonewton load at the midpoint so i'm coming here to select this beam then i will go to assign i will i've been coming here to the frame load because beam is a frame then i am coming here to the point load not the distributed load it is a point load i will select the point load then and this uh, frame point load application about the dead load live load so the, i will explain it later on i am coming here to here the point loads like we have the relative distance and we have loads loads in each and every point okay for this this for the relative distance and absolute distance for relative distance from end one the whole spin of the beam is considered as a one meters and divided by the required uh, portions but here in absolute distance the whole beam is considered as uh, a 10 meter okay this is the difference and this the distance like for example in this point it is zero distance and the load is zero and also at the midpoint of this like between these two points from this uh, point and this point it is like 0.25 here there is also no, no load and it is also zero at the mid like which is the 0.5 we have how many kilonewton loads we have six kilonewton load which is five meter from this point so i will select here six kilometer load and at the last point at the last point we have also like zero i, I have selected the relative distance so the whole beam is considered as a one meter if i select this absolute distance so the whole beams will be considered as a 10 meter relative distance from end one so it is like the beam is considered as a one meter then i will apply the six kilometer load then i will apply and okay so the six kilometer load has been applied if i go back here to the assign and the frame load and also to the point load you can just change the load and if you just want to raise it default you can just come back to the default and also close it i do not want to change now i am going to analyze the beams and we will see the shear force and bend moment diagram what like the results for after the analysis so now i am going to analyze this beams and before that i will just save this file then i will start it is run analysis so i am going to save this model I will name it is a beam enough forward save it then now i'm going to so now now i'm going to just press the run analysis so like it will start run analysis the analysis for this beam has been completed you can just start animations and do other steps so like now i'm coming here to show to show you the shear force and bending moment diagram so for that i will come to the display and come here to the show force stresses cable tendons or you can just draw here from here as well i will select here then i will select the combo like for the model 
then here in the component we have here the two portion like one is for shear force and another one is for moment bending moment like here the shear uh, the shear force two two is maximum shear force it is like and uh, here is like shear uh, two two is the maximum principal force and shear three two is like not maximum i will select here the shear force maximum then i will apply here this is the shear force you want to see it is uh, show values as well you will select this one and apply you can look here it is bending moment and about it is sign convention it is the shear force then again i am coming here to uh, to the bending moment like the moment 2 2 is the minimum and moment 3 3 is the maximum i will select the moment bending moment 3 3 maximum then i will apply so this is the bending moment maximum bending moment this is the bending moment and another one was the shear force so it was all about how to create a beams with the supports apply the load and analyze it and afterward you can just look about information for shear force and bending moment and the next coming days we will have much more information about the softwares and we will create many buildings and structures so make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for any coming updates then have a wonderful time bye bye